guys, it's your favorite host, Abriel BTV, and welcome to another episode of Down and Dirty. Now, I'm super excited about this episode because it's a cooking segment, and we'll be talking to some of the hottest chefs in Atlanta, and they're going to make us their favorite meal. So let's go check out what they're cooking. What's up, guys? We at Chef Sierra House. Chef Sierra, what are we cooking today? We are actually making salmon BLTs today mm -hmm. with garlic parmesan shoestring fries. I'm excited. So I'm excited I've, for I've never had a salmon BLT. Oh, it's good. I don't know if you ever had the pleasure of trying um, Goose Feathers in Savannah, but they actually do a salmon BLT on the sun bread. Oh, I'm excited to try it. But before we even get started, I got to put my apron on. Like, you know, I got to get in costume. <laughs> All right, girl, let's get started. All right, All right let's, let's go. What do you need me to do? All right, so we're going to start slacking out the bacon on our cookie sheet. All right. So if you want to do that, you can bring it over. Lay the bacon over there. All right. And I'm going to start on our salmon while you're getting that out. I have to turn on our cast on our skillet. I love baked to about high, medium to high heat because you want that grill mark on there. And then our bacon, I have it on this wire rack with parchment and foil on the bottom because we don't want it sitting in its own grease. We want kind of a crispiness when we bite into that salmon BLT. Do you think this is enough? Um, You can add the other two. Okay, I'm so just put it a little closer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it don't matter if they're overlapping because if we need to, we'll break it up on the sandwich. Put it in the oven. Okay. And that's going to go in for about 20 minutes on 400 degrees. And we're waiting on this cast iron skillet to heat up. And then I got my oil for the shoe shrimp fries going. I'm going to take my first fillet and turn it over. And I like to put mine a little diagonal so it can have like a diagonal sear on it. Sort of like it came off the grill. Mm. You don't got that luxury today because the pile is out of control. But <laughs> we're going to let it do what we got. I'm happy it's spicy. I love spicy food. It's not necessarily spicy. I, I mean, uh, yeah, oh, from yeah. the high okay. end and stuff like that. So, Cajun is definitely one of my favorite seasonings for salmon. So, and so what inspired you to be a chef in the first place? Um, I think I, it was my grandmother just growing up in the kitchen and having those moments with her. So she's no longer here right now, but I think this is like my way to keep connecting with her in those moments that we used to share together. So. Right. And so like, what was you guys' favorite dish or what did you love that she made? Oh my gosh. Uh, she actually made like a hash brown casserole and a thing called sticky buns. I don't okay. know if you ever heard that. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a cinnamon roll, but like with um, like a caramelized pecan mix that mm -hmm. gets drizzled on top. It's then, not a hash brown? No, 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 no. So the hash brown casserole was separate, but okay. sticky buns is something else that she made when I used to spend the night at her house. Ooh, that sounds really yeah. good. Okay. And so we're going to let this sear for a little bit, and yeah. then what are you doing after this? And then after we let these sear for a little bit, I'm going to actually put them on this wire rack, and we're going to finish them off in the oven for a little bit, okay. and then start on our french fries. Okay, and so why did you choose this meal? Is this one of your favorites, or why did you choose it? Um, I'm actually going on a trip, okay. <laughs> and so my mind for the summertime and the springtime is more so on like the seafood and mm. stuff like that. Okay. And so like, I guess like the coralness of the salmon, the crunch of the bacon, and- Something light, and yeah, flavorful, yeah. okay. Something to remind me of the, the better seasons of the year. I'm right. Not really a fan of winter or fall, so. All right, okay. All right, so I'm actually going to grab this spatula right here. Okay. It's done searing on this first side, so I'm actually going to pick it up and okay. put it over here. As you can see, it's not done. We're going to finish it off in the oven, but I just love that, that sear because it's like, oh, this came off the grill when it really did. Mm -hmm. it came <laughs> and off so the tell us, why did you sear it on one side instead of not both? Um, I think it just comes from me being fascinated with the look of the grill mm -hmm. marks, but not wanting to overdo it, I guess. Okay, so. makes sense. So this one got a little bumped up, but we still going to rock look, it out. still going to rock it still. Okay. okay. All right. And so that's going to go in the oven for about, what, 20 minutes? Um, not even that long. I would say about 15. We have it on 400 right now, so it shouldn't even take that long. Salmon is one of those fishes where you can just do your thing. Perfect. So our bacon is fried. So we're going to start on our fries. And just to test the oil, we're going to see if it's ready. Yeah. Good luck. Boom. All right, we good. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay. We ready to go All now. All right, we're rocking and rolling. We're doing this. Let's see. All right, go ahead. Okay. Oh, that's touching. That's good. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Still a little traumatized. All right, look. <laughs> that's good. 
that should be good. That, that's the same. All right, so I've actually checked on the bacon and the salmon, so it's still finishing out pretty nice. So I'm looking forward to this meal. And so did you always know that you wanted to be a chef, or like was this your first choice, or what? Um, I actually didn't even know that I'd end up working with food in any capacity. Um, I graduated with my degree in public relations. And then I started working a hotel job doing um, the front desk, and then I worked valet. Don't ask me how I went in that whole conundrum, but um, right. it wasn't until maybe a few years later I was kind of like, okay, what do I do effortlessly? Right. And that's cook. I've always kind of cooked, um, starting with my grandmother, and then kind of just cooking for my family because my mom had a lot going on with her job and being a teacher. Wow. So that started kind of being my thing, and then. Shortly after that, it started being therapy for me in a way. So and so now you do this like full time. Yes. Okay. So I own the dinner label, which is a catering service, and we also offer events soon. You know, okay. Coming soon. Regulations, okay. COVID regulations and stuff like that. But I want to start offering events for um, people to enjoy. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's check on this food, girl. I'm ready to eat. Girl, let's. on our hot sauce and mayonnaise mixture. I don't have a name for it, but we just gonna mix it together because it tastes good on this BLT that we're making. Let's see. Okay, Mr. Mayonnaise? Yeah. Alright. Okay. And we're just gonna mix it. Mm. Yeah, it looks kinda off-putting at first, <laughs> but I promise it comes together well. You just gotta you mix just gotta it. just gotta remove yeah. that wrist. It's coming together. Okay, mm -hmm. get the lumps out. Yeah. So this is going to go on the bread? Yep. Perfect. Okay. We're going to put that to the side okay. and do our fries. All right. So perfect. I actually want to transfer this to our special bowl. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we're going to put our fries in here. Mm. All right. And if you want to grab some of that garlic and just okay. sprinkle a little bit, it's okay if it gets the garlic juice because we actually want that garlic juice as well. Let's see. All right, and then some parsley parmesan. and parmesan. Ooh. And then you're actually going to mix this together, so. Okay. You can be a part of this process. Love. Okay. <laughs> you know, I got to be extra. All right, and so just turn up. Gently yeah. massage it in. Yep. Mm, and those colors, so like, good. come yes. together real well. What you teaching me how to do And it does smell so good. <laughs> it smells so good. Something so simple. It's just I'm going to take some of our bread, lay it out right here. Okay. And then we can actually move that plate over here because we're about to build. Perfect. So let me get two of these salmon fillets right here. Okay, and my knife. And let's make it happen. So we're actually going to take a brioche bun, open it up like this, and we're going to take some of our mayonnaise and hot sauce mix. Okay. Dip a little bit. Put it on the top like that. Mm. That and then I think I want to start with the tomato on the bottom. Some people get a little nervous because they think that the juices from the tomato <laughs> are gonna make it soggy, but I feel like that's the best place for it. Okay. Then the salmon. Mm. Then we're gonna take some of our bacon. bacon. I like two pieces on mine. Okay. But before we do that bacon, let's grab some of that cheese so Girl, we can get the so heat good. in between. And I think I'm gonna fold them just a little bit so it all can be under the bun. Perfect. Okay. And then I like to grab like a little arugula and spinach and kind of mix it a little bit in my hand to like crunch it up and make it into like a little ball. Mm. Yes, presentation. Come on and now. And there is your salmon BLT, Girl. ladies and gents. Yes. That looks so good. Doesn't it? Mm. Let's get that on a plate. Girl. All right. Let's add our fries. Yes. you got going on in your mouth right now so the salmon is so like the texture is right. amazing the bacon gives it that final touch the lettuce is a nice touch to give it like crunch mm -hmm. mm. 
Man, mm, so this is kind of spicy. Mm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. You got to save room for the fries. <laughs> okay, the fries. Mm. Mm. So tell us what kind of fries you are getting. These are the garlic parmesan fries. So, yeah. Girl, girl. I'm telling you, mm. a little bit goes a long way. But they're seasoned really well. Mm. I know I'm talking my mouth, but it's not good, y'all. It's not good. Hold on, one Yeah. <laughs> it's so see. Well, you are not in the kitchen cooking. What are you doing? I am rapping. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but that's something else that I do that brings me joy alongside cooking, so. Okay. So let me hear something. Oh, good. What you got, girl? What you got? Let's okay. rap about this BLT. All right. It's so all the you got a BLT on the plate. Looks like Ariel, like when she ate. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I had so much fun cooking with you. Yes, thank you so much for coming through. It was fun cooking with you, too. No problem. Let them know where they can find you on social media. All right, so my food page is at dinner label D I N N E R label L A B E L on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure y'all follow her. As you can see, I haven't stopped eating because it is that bomb. <laughs> say Chef Sierra did her thing with that salmon BLT. And now we're headed over to Playboy Kitchen's house to see what he's whipping up. And ladies, I know y'all wondering how he got the name Playboy Kitchen. So let's go see what he's cooking. What's up, guys? We're here with Chef Darius. Chef Darius, tell us what we cooking today. All right, so what we're going to be making today is what I call the Playboy Island Pineapple Bowl. Mm, that sounds good. It is good. Oh, let's go. Let's go. What we got here? What we have here first is our pineapple. Okay. With our pineapple, go ahead, we're gonna slice that in half, and we're gonna get right back to that. Next, we have our jerk chicken. With our jerk chicken, we're gonna get to that marinade. Mm, that little spice to it. Gotta have the spice to got it. Got it. Got it. Can't be on the island without a little spice. Exactly. But with spice, we also gotta have a little sweet. Okay. So with the sweet, we're gonna have our sweet chili shrimp. Mm, okay. And with that sweet chili shrimp, it's gonna be perfect blend with the pineapple. Mm. You just wait on it though. That sounds real good. Okay. Well, we got the lobster. Right lobster tail. Can't be on the island without. You know, you know it. I mean, what island you seen without lobster? Um, no, no, no. So, right, that's, right, right. so that's what we're going to. So my island has a lobster too. So then we have, of course, our onions, bell peppers, and our red bell pepper. And we're going to blend all that in with our jerk chicken, of course. Okay. And, and we got this sauce. What, what's this? This special sauce. You going you gonna to tell me what's in it or? No? Uh, all right. Okay, cool. cool. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get started. So let's get started. So first things first, we have the pineapple. Okay. With our pineapple, we slice that in half, as I mentioned, and then when we move over, we're actually going to do a quick cut. Okay. So I'm with the cut, we're going to start down the center, and we're just going to go straight down there. Not too hard, because you don't want to actually cut the bottom of it. Watch your fingers. You, you're a professional at this. I'm a And then we're going to cut a square. And once we make our square, we're just going to make small, smaller squares. And with those smaller squares, it's going to make it easier just to go ahead and dig out the pineapple. So cut across. And okay. Cut across. We're just going to make some squares real quick. And with a spoon, we can just easily dig this out. And from there, mild jerk marinade. Only reason I use mouths is because everybody can't handle spice. Right, right. And we can't have anybody crying. Right. But that's too good for that. The next we have our garlic pepper. Okay. We have our garlic salt. Okay. And what I like the most is our stingy honey garlic. Mmm, that sounds good. Not too much, but just a little bit of lemon. lemon. Juice? Okay. And we have our smoked paprika. With that, you season the taste. You're going to hand mix all that together once you chop up your onion, green bell pepper, and your red bell pepper. And then we're going to mix all that blend. We're going to set that to the side. Perfect. So once we set that out to the side, we move over to our shrimp. With the shrimp, fairly easy. We never, ever, 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 ever buy frozen seafood. Why is that? not taste the same once okay. it's thawed out. So we always go to the farmer's market. Um, from there, we grab us our lobster tail and our shrimp. With the shrimp, we go ahead and put that in a bowl. We're going to mix that in with some garlic butter. Okay. And we're going to use a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil, which we're going to put in our pan. We're going to use some of this Mrs. Dash original blend. Okay. We're also going to go back to our garlic pepper and garlic salt. Mm. And our favorite? The lemon juice. The lemon right. juice. Right. You already know. 
we're going to mix that around in our bowl. We're also going to sit that off to the side. Okay. Because then we're going to focus on our lobster tail. Right. This lobster tail right here, I already have pre-seasoned, but the best way to get to your lobster tail is to make small incisions at the bottom. Okay. Then you're going to cut across the top and pull out the actual meat. Do not be scared that you're mm. going to break the shell off of, or anything like that. The lobster's dead. Go ahead and dig in there and get that meat out there. Let's start. You ready? Let's start. Let's, Let's go ahead. Let's go pick it. Swap around here. Oh, okay. Okay, so what we got right here is we're going to do our jerk chicken and sweet chili shrimp. Okay. So we're going to do the sweet chili shrimp first. Okay. We have our sweet chili sauce in here with some butter and garlic butter. Okay. We have it on medium high. And then over here, I'm going to do the jerk chicken. So I'm really trusting you. Okay, right I got you. This I got is you. very important, you know? <laughs> so I just take it, drop it in here. You're going to drop it, Perfect. and you're going to flip it. When I say flip it, you just go flip it. Okay, got All you, right. got you. All right, let's go. There we go. Let's see. Okay. And so tell me, what inspired you to be a chef? Uh, what inspired me to be a chef was not going broke. Uh, I feel you. money everywhere else, you know? And uh, I kind of just got into it by trial and error, right. honestly. Uh I started cooking by myself in like 19, um, plenty of burnt chicken, um, <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of spaghetti. A lot of trial and error, okay, you know, okay. <laughs> trial and error, definitely. But eventually, you know, I started to get my get my act together, you okay, know. Okay, I feel it. You know, we started actually using the stove and not the microwave, you know. <laughs> and we just kind of just grew into it. And from there, I don't know, I started to see where I can make a little money off of it and I just kind of made it a profession. Mm, so this is what you do full time right now. Full time. I love it. I love it. Everything from meal prep, private dining, catering. Oh, okay. So a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Okay. But it's never about the food. It's always about the experience. Mm, I like that. Talk about that a little bit more. Well, with the experience, every last di a dining experience that I do, always going to have a full menu for mm, the people. Okay. I always have a complimentary gift bag for them as well. I love that. Today we have a complimentary gift bag for you. Okay, I'm but we also to have t-shirts. T-shirts just released yesterday. Oh. And we have one for you, so you'll be able to unveil I'll that. I'll be able to rock the rock gear. Rock the gear. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and so, wait, is this supposed to bubble? Like, it is supposed to okay. bubble. Now it's time to flip. Okay, so just flip it. Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right. Okay, we get a good flip on that. Mm, this smells so good. Mm -hmm. But wait till you taste it. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, there we go. And we let that sit for maybe another two bit. minutes. Yeah. Okay, so let's build this bowl. You know. All right, let's build it. So first thing is first, we're going to use our rice. Okay. So we're going to start right here. All right. Actually, let's swap. Okay, let's swap. Ooh, let's ooh. swap, 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 swap. And All so right. why are we building this bowl, though? Mm -hmm. You know, you got the name Playboy, Playboy Kitchen. Kitchen. Mm -hmm. That name, you know, it do something to the ladies. What, what's the name for? Well, you know, it's a play on words, first and foremost. It only gets physical if you ain't got no money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just off of my own personal uh, Instagram account name. This is Playboy Cream. Okay. Do kitchen on there, and I let a couple of friends see it, and they was like, "Well, you know, you actually should stick with that." Right. Like, I, was like, I like it. It gives it a little ring. I'm like, "Okay, Playboy, what's going down in the kitchen?" Right. So we got the <laughs> rice right here. Come on, we building the bowl, so y'all. So once we have our rice right there, we're just gonna flip it because I want everybody to see this. Yes. I'm gonna let you pull the top. What? Just pull the top. Pull yeah. the top. Like Me? this? Yeah. Oh. Sit it to the side. Push to the side. Wait. Pull up to the side. Go to the side. Not, not okay. out. Just okay. Like that. Leave it. Ooh. Okay. And you're going to sit that on the top. Sit that on top right there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, we're going to take the chicken. Okay. With the chicken, we're going to stuff the inside of that and get our chicken. And we're going to stuff that shell with the chicken. Right. Mm, that looks so good. sit on the side mm. and it's gonna wrap around oh, like a little conga line or something I like that presentation is on point so get you in the side okay. Okay. and we're gonna get another one right there perfect now for the garnish pineapple pineapple okay cool gotta cut it up like this there we go just cut oh. some small little chunks right there so where is this going? So, we're going to take this one right here. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Let's see. Perfect. We're just going to garnish across the top. Mm. And of course, you can't have a meal without parsley. All 
right, chef. I'm, I'm ready to try this. It's the you moment ready? of truth. It's the moment of truth. All right, y'all. So let's get the got the pineapple, the chicken. Make sure you get some of all that now. Okay, look, I'm gonna get the chicken and the shrimp. Oh, you're right. gonna get right to it. I like it. Let's go. There we go. Mm. Mm. I know. Mm. I know it. You yeah. saw it when you was over there. You gotta do them like that. I mm -hmm. gotta do them like this. Mm -hmm. If I don't do them like that, somebody else is. It's a texture. Mm. The seasoning's a per te perfection. The chicken is tender. See, but the pineapple gives the rice a little bit more sweet taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sweet and the tangy is. See, but that's not regular barbecue sauce. Mm. That's your special sauce. It's a special sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Let me get some more rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure you try that lobster too now. Just okay. waiting on you. Oh, you're not gonna get into it. <laughs> That's garlic butter. So that garlic butter has been melted down, easy to dunk. I'm serious? You drizzle it on top, however you feel. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Drizzle or dunk? I'll dunk it. Mmm. And so while I'm doing this, mm -hmm. did you always want to be a chef or how did this come about? I never thought about being a chef, honestly. Um, I actually, once I got into it, I used my marketing degree. Right. Um, I used to work for Atlanta Falcons, and from there, I just kind of used those skills and moved mm -hmm. right into just doing all my own thing as far as like the plating, the ideas with the actual menus, the gift bags, all that just came from like my whole marketing experience, and that's what drives me as far as being a chef. Wow, and so would you say you really love what you do? I do love it. Work. I mean, without loving it, then there's no, the food wouldn't be as good as it is. The experience wouldn't be the, what the experience is if I didn't love what I did. Mm, well, I must say, you definitely know what you're doing. Mm, let me get to this pineapple. Though. So, why are you over here getting into all that? I actually have something special for you. For me? For you. Okay. So, just give me one second. Okay, here, okay. And we'll get right to it. So, what we have today is our complimentary gift from okay. Playboy Kitchen. I love it. Personalized. Thank you. I love it. And. Playboy mm. Kitchen T-shirts. They actually are going on pre-order tomorrow. Wow! You have one of the so first much. ones that are going to be released. Thank and you. You're so welcome. So let's, let's see what you got in there. All right, let's see. What Every gift bag is different. None of them are the same. Let's see. Let's see. Y'all see these details? Nice like, burlap sack. That's the details for me. Ooh. Okay, so we have a champagne glass. Okay. Yes. Y'all see this? Playboy Kitchen. Yes. To do list, to do list, right? So you never forget what you got going on before you leave the house. You look at your refrigerator, you know you got something. Come on to do. now, look at that, look at that degree <laughs> working. Yes, I love this. And there we go, face mask. mask. Can't go wrong with it. I don't care what Camp say. <laughs> you already know we need this. Oh, gotta have a coaster. Yes. What's look. the wine glass about the coaster? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, no for it. Like it's all about Take the details. All right, you're not gonna bust up the shirt. So let me. That's the first one. What y'all talking about? The first one. I think everybody needs to see this. Don't mind me, y'all. It's a little tough, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Ooh, this. Ooh, okay. We got the instructions. Have to have the wash instructions. Shout out the Crash by B. You know I'm going to rock this. Yes. Thank you so you much. So awesome. Of course, I got to be a part of the movement. You, you know, have to be. Thank be you for stopping by Playboy's Kitchen. No <laughs> problem. And let them know where they can find you at on social media. You can find me at my social media. It's Playboy Kitchen. P-L-A-Y-B-O-I Kitchen. Or my personal um, page, which is Playboy Cream. P-L-A-Y-B-O-I-K-R-E-M-E. Now, I must say, both chefs had an amazing meal. The food was amazing, but I need your help at home to decide who will take home that win. Will it be Dinner Label or Playboy Kitchen? You guys let me know based off presentation and what has your mouth watering. Make sure you comment below and let us know who will take home that win, and we'll see you next week for another episode of Down and Dirty. Bye, guys.